Long ago, in the heavens, there was a beautiful celestial weaver named Orihime. Orihime was the daughter of Tente, the Sky King, and she wove exquisite garments for the gods. Every day, she diligently worked on her loom, creating fabrics of such beauty that even the stars envied her skill. Despite her talent, Orihime was lonely and yearned for companionship. Seeing his daughter's sorrow, Tente arranged for Orihime to meet Hikoboshi, a handsome cowherd who lived across the Amanagawa River, the Milky Way. Hikoboshi tended to his cattle with care and was known for his kindness and diligence. When Orihime and Hikoboshi met, it was love at first sight. They were so enamored with each other that they neglected their duties. Orihime stopped weaving and Hikoboshi's cattle wandered across the heavens. Angered by their negligence, Tente separated the lovers, placing them on opposite sides of the Amanagawa River. Heartbroken, Orihime pleaded with her father to reunite them. Tente, moved by his daughter's tears, allowed the lovers to meet once a year on the seventh day of the seventh month a day now celebrated as Tanabata. On this special night, if the skies are clear, a bridge of magpies forms over the Amanagawa River, allowing Orihime and Hikaboshi to cross and be together. However, if it rains, the river swells, and the magpies cannot form the bridge, leaving the lovers apart for another year. People in Japan celebrate Tanabata by writing their wishes on colorful strips of paper called Tanzaku and hanging them on bamboo branches. They hope for clear skies so that Orihime and Hikaboshi can reunite and find happiness together just as they wish for their own dreams of love and happiness to come true. Moral of the story, true love is precious and enduring. It may face obstacles, but with patience and perseverance, it can overcome even the greatest challenges. Thanks for listening, and please comment, share, and subscribe for more opportunities to learn about other cultures.